Hello, welcome to my quick review of the Lotus 23 from 1964 that uh, Bobby Unser, senior I could say, raced up the Pikes Peak hill climb in, uh, yeah, like I say, 1964. So, um, very bare bones car. Now, back in the day, of course, this would have been an all gravel climb, so no tarmac at that point, no asphalt laid on the ground. So, um, to do it in such a small, low slung racing car is, you know, quite adventurous, I would guess. So, um, looking at the car, and it is a tiny model because it is a tiny car, hence the uh, roll cage looking rather out of proportion sticking up there. But wow, well, lack of pro lack of protection compared to the modern roll cages you get on the modern Pikes Peak cars. So I'm doing a little series on Pikes Peak cars, so do subscribe and have a look at that. There'll be a link at the end of the video to the playlist for that. So, um, yeah, Lotus were known for their uh, lightweight sports cars. So, uh, now this would have been no doubt naturally aspirated and probably a less than two litre car. So it would have been pretty short of breath by the top of the hill. But they were really counting on their weight to take it through and you were competing against American cars with big V8s, no doubt. But uh, I can't tell you how it did. You'll have to look that up for yourself, I'm afraid. So um, the paint finish on this is lovely. I should say it is a Spark model in 43rd scale. Yeah, the paint finish is fantastic. So I'm very happy about that. Um, you can see the join on that sticker there between the nine and the six, which is maybe a bit disappointing, but not too bad. And the detail on those side stickers, fantastic. You can probably read all of that. Not bad at all, I can't. <laughs> But once it's on a big screen, you have no trouble seeing it. I like the uh, detail. Interesting four-spoke style and six-spoke on the back. Very odd. I've never seen that before. But a um, little knacker duct in there. Air intake most likely there. No need for it to be up high. Oh, I don't know, you wonder if being up high would be better, but that's not the point of this video. So a uh, little exhaust pipe coming out of there. Nice and aero, this car. Look at the... Uh, Look at the lines on that, look at that, sorry, the lines there, and look at that low slung protection. Interesting to see how this plexiglass screen pops up like that. So I do have a load of other Lotus car model videos, so do um, subscribe and find those. Um, so yeah, this, I don't know why this axle is rather on the loose side, but it sits like that which then seems quite close to that one. Hmm, well, very strange. I don't know. You'd think it was, you know, if it was going to race up Pikes Peak, you'd think they'd need to have the uh, ground clearance. But of course, when you, uh, when you sit this car on into position, it's sitting quite low. Anyway, nice detail on the interior. It's always nice to see an interior. And of course, without a closed cockpit, you can really see in there. So that's great, isn't it? So, uh, goodness, the, the gear lever on the right, shaft style gear lever. Uh, great detail, fantastic. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Do subscribe. You'll see my other videos of various other 43rd scale cars and some 64ths, but uh, 18th and, 20, and 12th scales as well. Uh, I do like my 43rd scale HPI model cars, they've got such wonderful detail, and I've got a good range of Spark models too. Extra rally cars, road cars, all sorts of things, Le Mans cars. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully that's uh, given you a good idea of the quality of this model. Very happy that that's with my Lotus collection. Thanks for watching and you'll hear from me again.